Oh, no! Super Las Vegas. That is loose ass. Yeah, Welcome to Grassroots Garage. I'm in this, in this beautiful little Subaru Brat with Tony. Tony, thanks for your time, man. No worries, mate. Tell us about your car. Uh, it's a 1987 Subaru Brumby here in Australia. Um, it's been decked out with the Rexy motor, uh, Rexy running gear, bits and bobs out of various Subarus, different makes and models, and it's been my daily driver now for two, two and a half years. Beautiful. In the, in the mid-60s, uh, Europe put a tax on American chickens getting exported to Europe. And in response, the US President Lyndon Johnson put a tax on European or any light trucks entering America. What I'm sitting in now is Subaru's cheeky response to the 25% tax. These two very haphazard plastic seats made this not a light truck, a passenger vehicle. Just another adorable face. Rest assured, it can carry the goods. All models come with two ejector type, rear facing plastic bucket seats for those of you who want to see where you've been. Add to that a true cargo capacity of 1,000 pounds and a usable 3 by 4 foot pallet, and you've got enough space for you and yours, two or more hay bales, and the balers. A real ride em cowboy's delight. So these things here are really special, a really cool little bit of history. Uh, Subaru getting, getting around attacks. This is a really rare little bit of history, those seats. Where did you guys chase them down from? I think we got them from America. You did ship them in from the States? Very cool. They did come out of America. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming he was quite a young fella that was destroying a, a brat over in some little hick town of America. Yep. So yeah, I had him uh, FedExed across across state and then shipped to Australia. So uh, how long have you had this car? Uh, when I sold that. So okay. two, two, three years. Okay, man. And, sent, and bought it from an old bloke in Lismore, New South Wales. Yep. It had the canopy, it had the the little 13 inch wheels, oh, the, nice. you know, it was quite stock. Yep. And uh, since then I've put the bigger engine, the gearbox, the disc brakes, the suspension, the complete dash, you know, the, the seats are out of an 86. Yeah, I noticed it, really nice seats, So, man. very comfortable. They're 86 seats. 86 right? seats, yeah, cool, which cool, are cool. the same with the BRZ. That's a nod to Subaru, keeping it in the house. Oh, it's... Um, so, you said bug eye motor? Yes, 205. Uh, and then you've gone bug eye gearbox as well? No, nah, the gearbox is out of an early STI RA with the DCCD, the center diff controller. Nice. So I can put the, the more power to the front or more power to the rear. And that's a 22B thing as well, isn't it? It, that, it was that a similar, very controller. similar gearbox that was in the 22B. Beautiful. And then what have you done for the diffs? The diff is a bit of a bitzer out of a Rex and RS Liberty parts. Okay. To get the required uh, ratio and the, huh. the required shape for the, the Brumby bits, the, to mesh with the Brumby bits. Okay. It's got a rear sway bar, it's, that's very rare for these cars. Yeah. They come out of, a, I think, a Vortex maybe. Yeah, nice. The dash is out of an early coupe. Okay. With the analog gauges. <laughs> it's tiny. So I'm assuming it'd be much like uh, Gerard's engine. Yeah. But we didn't yeah. do much to clean up under here. We just got it running and. Uh... So what? So what? Talk, talk to me about this. What's going on here? The, the sport comes with. I'll see when I'm flush, I'll see it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Inboard disc brakes. The discs are mounted to the gearbox, not the hub. So what's out here? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so you be cruising around, people going, "You got no brakes, mate." That's yeah, that's uh, that's Fast and the Furious right there. Yeah, fully sick, man. Yeah. yeah. I can't, I can't see it. It's too dark yeah, in there. So the discs dark. are there. The discs are mounted to the gearbox. Okay. And the the other style FF1 have drums, drum okay. brakes mounted yeah. to the gearbox. So when you, the thing for me when you pop these bonnets is just how compact that little Subaru motor is. It is a very is. small, very small engine. Yeah. You can you lift it out by hand. <laughs> you lift it out by hand. And front wheel drive. Front wheel drive. The FF1 yep. run a dual radiator. Yep. They they both connected. This one doubles as the heater for the car. Here. This this little one here doubles as the heater for just, the car. You just got that bit of pipe That's there. It. So this is the the, the heater fan motor, the fan the, motor, correct. And, and that runs in and that's obviously on off. Yeah, that's it. And that's literally simple. I love as. these old school cars, man. Simple as. Isn't it good? Yeah. Uh, so you chucked a you chucked a new fuel filter on it. Chucked a new fuel filter. Lines. Yep, and off she went. And she went. She fired up after 30 years. I'm not I'm not in love with your um with your um with your belt here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Get a bit old. You, you weren't supposed to look under the bonnet. <laughs> no, she's a beast, man. I love it. So, Absolutely love it. So you've come down from Queensland for this. So yes, correct. Okay. Thank you. So where'd the passion for Subarus come from? Uh, my father, oh, we've all, my whole family have always been into Subarus. My father bought basically his FF1 brand new when he got out of the army. Wow. My uncles have all had FF1 and then, you know, the Leone, the Liberty, so on and so forth. Yep. Uh, my uncle up in Queensland, he's got Vortex, SVX, all the really quirky Subarus. Yeah. I've got an uncle in Bendigo, he's got the same, you know, really quirky Subarus. Yeah. So, uh, so you've got the dual personalities going the dual on this one. Yeah. Because you thought, oh, well, we'll try something different. We'll do the, the race you look down the one side because they still do race these cars. Yeah. And the other side is more of a factory, a factory look. Can we have a look at this little photo on the ground here? As you just look at Jared's beautiful little Leone here. So your, so we look at Subaru, the history of the car. Yep. So this one here is obviously one of the very early Subarus. I've never seen That's one of these. That's it. Yeah. Top, three, top three. I've never seen those top three. And then this is you here. Yes. And then this is Jared here. Yes. And then they went to the shape, Correct. the later on shape. So hopefully you've enjoyed checking out this beautiful little Brumby, checking out the uh, the FF1G, FF1G, which is a cool little car. And um, Tony, thanks for your time, man. No worries, man. Really appreciate it. No worries, thank you. That's it. Massive thank you to Tony's wife, Danny, for all the camera work too. She just knocked it out of the park.
ਕਿਵੇਂ ਵਾਹਿਆ